Zandvoort in Holland was the destination for the teams for the third Formula Ford Euro Cup meeting of 2012. And the weather conditions for race one could not have been worse. The circuit was awash, evinced by the aquaplaning for Julio Moreno and Falco Vau. And with the drivers struggling to keep the cars anywhere near the circuit, the race was stopped and it wasn't restarted as the rain fell heavily for well over two hours. The second race was a proper race, albeit a brief one. Eric Lichtenstein at the front of the grid, Jake Cook with him, and third, Michel Flory, qualifying as the best of those powered by a Durotech engine. It was going to be a battle royal between the two Jamin racing teammates. It was Lichtenstein who led the way. Cook slotted in behind him as Julio Moreno riddled his way through the Durotech contingent. Michel Flory had in the class, but there was little he could do to repel the EcoBoost engine turbocharged car in the hands of Moreno. He got himself up to fourth, chasing after Luke Williams. Williams was chasing after Cook, and Cook was on the tail of the leader, Lichtenstein. Cook lost ground ever so slightly coming out of the Tarzan hairpin, but then Moreno inherited third coming out of the last corner. As ahead of him, Luke Williams had a huge accident. He ran wide, hit the tyre barrier, that launched the car into a terrifying roll and spat wheels and tyres over the fence and into the paddock. Luke Williams was OK, but with the car in a dangerous place, the race was stopped under the safety car to extricate the driver and to sweep up the remains. It was a truncated race, therefore, won by Liechtenstein. Jake Cook was classified second and Moreno third. Bas Schouten fourth to win the Durotech class ahead of Max van Splinteren. And Falco Bauer rounded out the top six. It was fingers crossed for race three. Hopefully this time it would go the distance. And Jake Cook was the man on pole position, with teammate Eric Liechtenstein with him at the front of the grid. Michel Flory, once again the best of the Durotech drivers. All the cars carrying Get Well Yoss legends on them offering support to Jos Kiekens, Dutch driver who was injured a week ago in a large accident at Spa. With a grid form, there were one or two gaps after the earlier dramas, especially Luke Williams, whose car couldn't be repaired in time. But as the lights went out, the best start of all was made, not by Cook, but by Liechtenstein. He had the inside line on the run down to the Tarzan hairpin, and even from the one-by-one one stagger grid was able to break latest and came through on the inside line to take the race lead. Julio Moreno, having qualified badly for all three races, was soon in his stride, working his way through the Durotech contingent. Michel Flory led the way ahead of Bart Vanos, with Falco Vauer also trying to join in the mix. Vauer ran wide, coming out of the Ari Leindijk corner, he bounced over the grass, off the tyre wall, off the armco, but amazingly stayed in the race, and the car survived without any damage at all. Up front, Liechtenstein led the way, Cook right with him as the two ran nose to tail. Cook getting ever stronger and ever more committed to the race lead, Liechtenstein having to defend ever more strenuously. In the Durotech battle, Max van Splunteren had caught up onto the tail of Bas Schouten, who was on the tail of Michel Flory, who was on the tail of Bart van Os, and he made his bid for the race lead at the S's. Flory threw on the inside, Van Os tried to hang on in there on the curb on the inside line for part two, but Flory came out ahead with Schouten challenging as well. Van Splunteren was soon up to third place around the outside of Van Os going to the hairpin. Van Os break late, but too late lost the back of the car under braking for the corner, round it went, launched himself over the kerb and across the road into the gravel bed and into retirement. That was Van Os out of the race and significantly these were Dutch championship rounds so the erstwhile championship leader is doing himself a power of no good in his championship quest. Another driver to retire from the race with damage, Sander Mortensen. He'd had a big moment coming through the gear la bocht, going off into the tyre barrier and ripping two corners off the car and bodywork damage as well. And Mortensen did it all on his own. There was nobody around him on the track, but with spots of rain falling, he just lost control of the car, slithered off the road and backed it into the tyre barrier. Mortensen was out as Liechtenstein led from Cook and Jake was getting ever closer to taking the race lead. Liechtenstein under real pressure as they headed down towards the right-hander of the Masters box and then towards turn eight. And it was here that Cook tried to make a move on the inside. He braked as late as he dared. There was just room for him. He scrabbled by, delayed both himself and Liechtenstein. But Cook came out of the corner just ahead. Liechtenstein fought back on the run down towards the S's and put himself right onto the tail of Cook, looking for a way through. He had the outside line heading into the S's that became the inside line for the second element of the corner. And Liechtenstein powered his way down towards the Kumho right-hander back in the lead of the race. But Cook hadn't given up yet. The two of them continued to circulate nose to tail with the road getting ever more greasy. Down towards the Tarzan happy. Cook challenged on the inside, but Liechtenstein outbraked himself. He ran deep into the corner, had to get off the brake and control the car, but in so doing left the door wide open and Cook went through into the lead.
Having done so, he had to put a lap on Frank Mortensen as the car is headed down towards the Hukenholtz left-hander. But Cook led the way, despite the car getting really sideways out of the last corner as the road was now wet. Checkered flag at the ready. It was a win for Jake Cook, who came storming across the line to win for the first time in the Euro Cup. And that was his first win since a British Championship victory at Alton Park back at Easter. Out of the race in the last lap, though, Max van Splinteren, who spun off into the gravel at the S's, and this was how he did it. He braked as late as he dared going into the corner. At the back of the car, came round on him, he slithered off the road and dropped him into the gravel bed. Van Splinteren going no further, but on the distance covered, he was classified ninth in the race. The race won by delighted Jake Cook. Van Splinteren, in contrast, having beaten all hell out of the steering wheel, hopped out of the car and legged it away. A very frustrated man. So Jake Cook, the winner, by a tenth of a second from Eric Lichtenstein. Julio Moreno third, with Michel Flory being the best of the Dutch Championship Duratec drivers home fourth, Bas Schouten fifth, and Nicolai Silvest in sixth.